Good morning guys, we're in a very special place in Thailand right now. Today we are in Sanklaburi, which is a super remote district of Thailand, pretty much on the border with Myanmar, Burma, far, far west of the country. Right now we're standing on the second longest wooden bridge in the whole world, the Mon Bridge here in Sanklaburi. On this side is the Thai village, and on this side is the Mon village, and the Mon are an ethnic minority people coming from Myanmar. And the views here are absolutely stunning. It's so peaceful. Now there's pretty much no foreigners here, no Falang, and that mainly is because it's down like a seven and a half hour dead end road from Bangkok. We got the bus here yesterday, it took forever. And yeah, I don't think it's just on the, the international tourism radar, but for locals this place is extremely popular. They like to get dressed up in the traditional outfits and take part in the almsgiving we'll see down here. And at the weekends, I'm pretty sure it gets so busy and like all the hotels book out. But we're here in a weekday, so it's, it's fairly peaceful. I'll just show you some of these views. And then yeah, we'll head off for the day. Get some tasty food as always. Just explore the town. So right now we're in the Mon village and everyone is here in a line ready to give arms, ready to give offerings to the monks. There's also loads of little restaurants. So we're definitely gonna be able to get some tasty food after this. But yeah, it's a super local domestic tourism, so there's so many people here. Really nice vibe. Let's see what goes on. You make the fit now. <laughs> what flowers did she put on my face? I don't know, they look nice. <laughs> and she's got some traditional paint on the face. And a little wreath. Now we fit right in with all the Thai tourists. I almost feel like I'm going to get stirred out ten times more than I already do now. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come to the Mon Market, which is pretty much down the road from where we just saw the arms giving. Hello mate. Just to see if we can grab some food and just check it out. Yeah, so here's the Mon Market. It's a weekday, so I'm guessing it's not as busy as it is at the weekend, but it's really interesting to see. Oh, look at all those blood cakes. Yeah, so the Mon people, I think, speak their own language. And everyone does look different here, and they dress different. ผู้ภาษาไทยภาษาไทยได้เอ่ออันนี้อะไรครับอันนี้สมุซ่าไส้มันสมุซ่าสมุซ่าอันนี้ถั่วถั่วเอ่อเท่าไหร่ครับอัน
Do people here speak Mon? I mean Mon. 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 But, uh, I mean do, how do you say hello in Mon? No. You don't know? No. no. Okay, thank you. Kupun Kap. Goodbye. Who is this? Who dressed him up today? <laughs> That's so funny. We've got another car for a little restaurant. Somewhere to grab a big breakfast. We've got our snacks, but we need some some more sustenance. So in the Mon Market, those Indian ladies sold us this big bag of snacks for 25 baht. Now oh, that's a cracking price. Now in here we've got samosa. <laughs> that's how she said it. Cold, but pretty tasty. You don't want to say it though. You just bed, it's like onion. I mean, the chief and cheerful. I'm not going to say they're the greatest things in the world, so I'll be lying to you. Now, I don't know what this is. I, I can't remember what she called it either. She called it something really funny. It's like she, they had a big bowl of it. I think I think I filmed it. You can see, and they like cut sections off. Is it coconut? Some sort of. We have lots of snacks already. <laughs> you want a piece of this? I know, we, we have Hello, snacks though, we have snacks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. It was a bit of a vicious seller, wasn't it? I think it's coconut. There's like... I don't know, maybe it's just like... Congeal coconut milk. It's really tasty though. What do you like? Uh, I like congee. Congee? Ah, okay. Put egg or not? Put egg. Okay. That on my main piece. Okay. Uh, normal or special? Normal. Uh, what is different? Uh, uh, the special is uh, mini pork yeah. egg too. Uh, uh, I have coffee. 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 So we dipped into this little place, it's pretty much just on the other side of the Mon Bridge, in the Mon side, the Mon Village. Now, I've got a Burmese curry on roti. Leish has got a first Thai kunji. Look at that. Just putting in some fried garlic. Crispy fried garlic. Yeah, crispy fried garlic in there. So what's in there? We've got ground pork, eggs, some veg, and it's like a, kunji's like a, a rice porridge and then looks like there's free tea for everyone as well let's see anything in yep now this was all 140 baht maybe a little bit expensive but i guess it's a touristy area so it doesn't matter we've also got some coffees we've got an iced coffee and then a classic look at all the condensed milk in there classic thai coffee Let's give this a whirl. This might be, this is probably going to be way too hot for me actually. That might have to wait. It's so hot. Mix the condensed milk in. Let's try this roti first then. There's, there's no way to do this gracefully. It's going to be messy, isn't it? Look at that. Mm. Mm. A little bit spicy. Really rich and oily. And that roti's nice and soft. That's a delicious dish. Mm. I'm happy with that. Let's have a sip on the tea. <laughs> no, Mom. 
Now I don't know the method, I don't know if you mix everything together or you just sort of have a spoonful of everything. So let's get in the egg. Spoonful of the pork the egg. That looks so good, the egg yolk. Now, kunji is a traditional like, Thai breakfast dish. You'll see it on the streets everywhere in the morning, early morning. Really? Yeah. Let's try it. Oh, the spoon. Oh, it's really tasty. Oh, it's just use this. Yeah. Let's get some crown pork. No problem. Oh, it's hot. That's a hearty breakfast, isn't it? Like a stodgy breakfast. Pretty delicious. Let's try this coffee. Feels really hot. <sighs> Can't beat it. Super strong black coffee. And just a massive heap of condensed milk. So sweet. That is a winner. Delicious. such a good breakfast. It's like a Thai version of oatmeal. <laughs> How do you say it? Tan? Tan Goon. Tan Tan. Tan Goon. Goon. La Ao. Tan Goon La Ao. La Ao is the same as Kha Kap in Thailand. Ah, so that's thank you. Oh, okay. Tan Goon La Ao. Tan Goon La Ao. Mak Ngoi La Ao. Hello. Okay. Okay. That's so hard to remember. Okay. Thank you very much. Tango and Okay. Thank you. Future say say. Mangal Okay. Do Okay. Got it. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this sign in the restaurant. The never eating holiday. It's so funny. The coffee here is really good. So I think they actually grow coffee in this area. There's definitely, definitely, because we've seen it in the, the house next to where we're staying. Yeah, really nice place that. Selling Mon dishes. All the people working there were Mon people as well. Teaching us a few words there. Bloody cap. These shops sell all kind of products from Myanmar. You can see with the, the Burmese writing on. All kinds of stuff. I don't really know what it is though. These are like, what are these? Some kind of soaps. Yeah, all kinds of natural products and I don't know what to be honest. Yeah, a lot more chilled out now. Can I swap? Oh, that, that. Is it? Can I put this one? That, that, that. Is it? Mat no la ao. Mat no la ao, chai. So yeah, she just taught us to say thank you in Mon, the Mon language. It's mat no, mat no la ao. Definitely not saying that right, but... Oh, look at this doggo. He's got blood coming out of his nose. Oh, I'm not going to go too close. It's not like they're all aggressive here. Poor guy. On whitening Thai lotion. On oh, whitening lotion. Titanium dioxide. We don't need any more of that. Couple <laughs> more. <laughs> <laughs> Very little. Couple cap. Yeah, so they just sell. Lots of imported goods from Myanmar, and I don't know what any of it is. So, if you want, you can do a lucky dip and buy a beauty product. <laughs> and all the crazy on the skin whitening stuff here in Southeast Asia. Manuela <laughs> Ao. See you, man. See you later. Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Yeah. You all just want the snack, so uh, all the oh, little puppies here. <laughs> really? Yeah. So here is where everyone offers you boat tours, so you can go out on a boat for the day, on the lake, the reservoir. And down here, sorry, 
you've got this incredible view of the wooden Mon Bridge. Look at that. It's massive. When you stood on it, you don't quite realise how smart it is, like how hard that must have been to build. It's massive. And yeah, I think it's some of this bridge goes all the way across and you can like swim and jump off it. But yeah, we've got some sort of like, what is it? Like fishing dock, maybe restaurants and homes on the, the lake side. Well smart. What's in here? Oh wow. This little catfish. Look at them all in there. All trying to, why they all got to do, maybe not some food. They're all like. Oh, you hey, all right? You are a fisherman? You fish? Fish? <laughs> and then eels. These are like, are they nearly dead? God knows. Well smart. Ah, sea sip. Ah, sea sip back. Sea sip back, Ah, we do not need, I'm just looking. Just, just looking. So what do you think of this place? Is it worth the seven, eight hour bus ride from Bangkok? I think 100%. I mean, look at this bridge. We'll try and get a, a view from somewhere else in the town. Oh. Sorry, Cap. And everyone's just so friendly. Everyone's on holiday, aren't they here? So everyone's in a really good mood. Now this type of touristy is great, because obviously it's touristy, but they're all Thai tourists, like local tourists, so they're all respectful. And there's not, like for example, there's not loads of kids on the bridge asking for money and stuff, which in a lot of other places you get stuff like that. Here it's just really tranquil. And you know, over there in the Mon village, it's still just like a normal village. Like you can just walk through and see local village life. You know, and at no point does it feel like a tourist trap in the absolute slightest. It all just feels as it should be. Oh, I don't know about that bit. Now this bridge is actually partially collapsed before, I think, and they've had to rebuild it a couple of times. It does feel quite sturdy. Yeah, you could just stand on here for like half the day, taking in the view. Especially when all the clouds lift and we can see the surroundings properly. Looks like you can get a boat to that viewing platform as well. Or is it some sort of some sort of temple-ish thing? There's places you can stay here, right on the lake. I mean, it looks like you have a personal kayak for every room. Now just opposite the wooden Mon Bridge, there's also this other bridge, which has incredible views of San Claburi yet again. I just have to show you this. these little floating settlements. That epic view of the wooden bridge. Hello, me. And then again on the other side, it's just, this place is so beautiful. We're right in the jungle. Like I said, we're pretty much at the border with Myanmar. So remote, you know, it, compared to Bangkok, this is just a completely different world. This is, this is heaven. So it seems pretty much, wow, that was a huge lightning bolt. It seems pretty much every day in the afternoon <laughs> while we're here, there's an absolute massive downpour and a thunderstorm here in San Claburi. So I don't really know what else we're going to do today. As you can see, it's not looking good. Roaring thunder. We've got some beers, some ice cold beers, a Chang and a Leo. Let's crack this open. Oh, that's ice cold. Chongel. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so cold. Oh, it's quite nice, you know, the, the beer Leo. I've not had that before. Quite nice. Let us know what's your favourite Thai beer. See what everyone else's drink is. Mm. Chang's sweeter. 
Oh. Did you see that? The whole sky's lighting up. Yeah, wanted to go for some food, go to the night market. Hopefully we still can do. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. All right, everyone, it's Friday night. We're picking up where we left off the other day. We've been rained off the past few nights. We've been wanting to hit up the St. Clubbury night market, but yeah, just been thunderstorms every night. It's been pretty drab, but as you can see, we've got a beautiful evening looks really good so yeah we're gonna check it out grab some food and just yeah see what it's all about so let's go take a look Sukilo. that's the chew the name yeah it's right. Sukilo. so it's cabbage leaf with pork in the middle they smell good from here they look really delicious and they're steaming yeah this is where they are they're steaming right here fresh <laughs> cup and cup. <laughs> I like that. This is really tasty. It's a bit spicy, but it's really, really good, yeah. What are they like? So it's obviously like steamed cabbage on the outside, which is a little bit soft. But then in the middle, it's got pork. I think it's mixed with carrots. Oh, yeah, you can see in there. It's something else, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a nice, soft textured snack. Not too heavy. I really like it. They're a bit like um, cabbage rolls. Cabbage rolls in, in Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. So here, this is the St. Clubbery. Well, it's not a night market yet, because it's not night time, but you get the picture, night market, street food market. It's a lot busier today, because it's Friday night. And there's lots of interesting stuff. So you have? Ani halaika. Nian kam. Nian kam. Nian kam. kam. Nian kam. Nian Okay, can I get Yusip? Yusip. Oh, oh, these look really interesting, people. Um, dai, dai. A lot of people have told us to try these. So what's in it? Is this? Ah. It's lime. Onion, peanuts, and is it ginger or gallinol? Okay. Um, gin tukian? Tokian? Right. Okay. <laughs> Do they have coke in it as well? Uh, Maprao? Maprao. Ah, wow, yeah. delicious. Really excited yeah. to try these. It's very still how we wrap that up, isn't it? Yeah. Look on cab. So we just try them straight off. Are they grilled? They're grilled as well, aren't they? So, Tokian. <laughs> mm. Wow, that's delicious. So much flavour. So many different textures. Wow. Sweetness with them. Get the sweetness within the ginger like. Kicks in. And then more sweetness. Wow. No well well. Good snack. That is a super snack. 20 baht a skewer. I look mad, pop and cab. Mm, very good. Wow, skilled. <laughs> gang. Kun gang. Pop and cab. They're delicious. They're like sweet and savoury at the same time. Yeah, it's a super interesting really food, that. Cup and cup. I've seen something here that looks super interesting as well. So what do you have? Any, 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 any like that? Canom. 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 One. How do you like that? Yes, it's bad. I'll know that. I'll try one of these. I've seen these kicking around, I have no idea what they are. Yes, it's good. This market's looking really good. There's all kinds of things that I've never seen before, which is what we want, isn't it? When we're trying all these Thai foods. Another purchase. God, I don't know what to get. There's so much stuff. We'll try these in a minute. We've got little quail legs fried in the pan. They look good. Street doggos walking around. What's this? Baby quail eggs. Oh, they look really tasty. 
protein. Oh, they've got drinks here. I'm actually going to buy one of these. Thank you. What do you have? What do you might have? I think I'm going to get this one. Anchan. Is that butterfly pea flower? I think it is. Okay. Al noon cap. You want to get a different flavour? What have we got? Ani bo bo ka. Bay bo bo. Ham le pu chan. Alai alai. Alai la ka. Alai ka cha pen. Ani lam yai ka. Which one's good? Alai alai isut tisut. Ah, Macau. Ah, so we've got coconut. There's so many different ones. Which one do you want? Let's get the coconut. So, so I like a lot easy. Okay. Ah, it's cold over there. Ah, that's perfect for tonight. Go for makeup. But the market hall begins. <laughs> These markets are just so much fun because you can just literally pick your way through like have just snacky bits. You don't have to have a full meal if you want. They do have loads of full meals. We've been eating full meals in the rain every night, but tonight we're on the picky bits. And yeah, as you can see, as always, the Thai people are super friendly. We had some of these today, Kanon Jeep. Oh, she's making those parcel things again. I can't remember the name. I always ask people what the name and stuff is. They tell us and then. I have no idea, it's so hard to like, remember. Yeah, there's so much strange food in offer here, like that I've not seen in Thailand yet and I don't think they'll sell in many parts of Thailand, but we've just grabbed these quick 10 baht drinks. Cheers. Chung Kao. I've got butterfly pea. I've got Only she's got it's coconut water. It's got little bits of coconut in it as well. Mm -hmm. Refreshing. Now, That's really good. It just tastes like sweet water. I don't think butterfly pea has like that much of a taste itself, but is it more of a colouring? Anyway, it's pretty tasty. It's so hydrating. Mm. So here we go. The food has come. Are we filming? Are we filming? Yeah, we're filming. The pack the pal mu crab. That's what I've got, and I've asked for it. Pet mag. So very spicy, which is the opposite of what you should do the night before 14, 15 hour bus journey. But here we are. Look at that, it looks delicious. It looks really good actually. So let's give the egg a whack. Oh, the runny egg. Oh, there's a fly on it. Look at that. Oh, hold that one up here. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh, let's just throw some Nam Prick Plaid on. Like chilies in fish sauce. Oh, it's got chilies, garlic. Oh, I forgot the name of this one. I used to eat this at home. Really excited for this. I think the dishes were 50 baht each. So let's just dive straight in. Ooh. Smells good. That is seriously good. Seriously good. Nice and hot. Full of holy basil. Thai holy basil. Super delicious. And that egg was nice and runny. And I've got a little. Is this like a, a bone soup with some coriander in? So a quick sip on that. Holy moly, that's hot. But yeah, just like tasty bone broth soup, I think. What have you got, Leash? I've gone for the dried red curry stir fry. So this is Pad Prick Gang stir fried chili. With obviously the crispy egg on top. I'm going to try it on its own, see what it's like first. With chicken, I think. Mmm. Really nice. A little bit sweet, actually. Not too spicy. Got green beans or long beans. 
Mmm, maybe it's pork actually. I think it might be pork. But it's really nice. It's actually really sweet. Really? It's different yeah. than the ones we've had before. It yeah, looks it different. is. A bit saucier as well than the ones that we've had before. But I think it's the best bit for me. That middle that bit. That egg is really good, isn't it? It's a massive egg. Mmm. It's all yeah, so here we are, just next to the night market, at the outdoor park, there's an indoor market with a few different food stalls cooking fresh food, so we've chosen this one on the end. They're really friendly, really tasty food. I mean, what more can you want? Nice plate of crispy pork, yeah. crispy pork, pad crap out. Mm. Oh, it's well up. Crispy, fatty, porky goodness. I need cat. Hello, this one. ขอบคุณครับขอบคุณมากค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะขอบคุณม